I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a test problem. The question here is, a store has been selling 200 compact test players a week at $1.350 each. A market survey indicated that for every $10 rebate offered to the buyers, the number of sets sold will increase by 20 a week. Find the demand function, find the revenue function and how large a rebate will maximize the Revenue. So that is the question for you. You can pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestion. Now here, what we are given is that 200 discs are being sold when the cost is dollar 350. Now, if rebate of 20 is given, that means that the cost is reduced from 350 to 340. So if the cost is reduced to $340, then the sales go up by 20. That means you sell 220 compact text. So that is what is given to us, right? So now this is a linear function. So we can use y equals to mx plus b equation to find the demand function, right? So that is how it could be easily found the demand function so let us see how so let us find first the rate at which uh, these items are being sold and they are related with the uh, the cost function right so so what is demand function demand function is basically the cost at which the items can be sold right so we'll use normally p of x where x is the number of items right so here slope is equals to y2 minus y1 so we'll do 350 minus 340 divided by x2 minus x1 so it is 200 minus 220 right so that is how we can get slope for the linear function so which is minus uh, this numerator is 10 and the denominator is minus 20 so we get minus half right so that is that is the rate now once we know the rate we can find the equation of p of x using y equals to mx plus b right and we can use one of these coordinate points so we can use um, let's say uh, price function is 350 for us for example so we can say uh, p of x is equal to let us, we'll do calculations here right on the formula here right so we'll say p of x is equals to slope of minus half right times x plus plus b we can use one of these values p of x is 350 dollars so we say 350 is equals to minus half x 200 items sold uh, plus b now solving this we can get the value of b which is which is equal to 350 plus half of 200 which is 100 and that gives you 450 right so b is 450 so that gives us the formula for the demand function so now we can write demand function as p of x equals to minus half x plus 450 right so i hope these steps are absolutely clear right so whenever we say that a market survey indicates that for every 10 dollars rebate offer to the buyers number of sets sold will increase by 20 so that is a linear function right since this is a linear function we used y equals to mx plus b concept to get our demand function right i hope that is absolutely clear now we need to find revenue function now revenue function is i'll use the space itself uh, revenue function r of x is basically revenue is the amount you get after selling the items so if you sell x number of items then be x times the price function demand function or price function is same thing right so we use two terms here so it is x times p of x correct so that is what it is so when i multiply by x it will be minus half x square plus 450 x so that becomes the revenue function for us right now it says how large a rebate will maximize the revenue now to maximize the revenue what should we do 
we should find its derivative and equate it to zero, right? So we'll do derivative of the revenue function. So here it is minus half times 2x plus 450, right? So, and that should be equal to zero to maximize. Is that okay? So that should be zero to maximize. And this gives us the answer. So if you solve for this equation, what do you get? You can half and this is like minus x. So x is equals to 450. So we get x equals to 450. Now x is the number of compact decks sold. The question now, the next part is, how large a rebate will maximize the revenue, right? So we need to find the price and then how large the rebate, that's the whole idea. So let's find the price for this function. So we say P of X, that means uh, P of X is equals to X is 450. So it is minus half, we'll replace X with 450, right? plus 450 and let's use the calculator it is 225 you have to take right so anyway so we have 450 minus 450 divided by 2 so that gives us 225 so 225 becomes the price right now actual price for us is 350 dollars we need to reduce this price to 225 to maximize the revenue, correct? So by how much, it says by how much, how large the rebate. So we have to find the rebate, not just the price. So rebate for us will be 350 take away 225. You get the idea, right? So, so we'll take away from 350, we'll take away 225 to get the answer as $125. So the rebate should be of $125 to maximize the revenue, correct? So, so that, is, that is the concept here. Now one more question which we need to address here is, so that is your rebate, is we said that revenue could be maximized when the derivative is equal to zero. Now how would you show that this is the maximum value? not the minimum value. So for that, what you can do is, you can adopt one of the two approaches. You can find the second derivative of revenue, which will be, in this particular case, minus one. Do you see that? Because that is the derivative, constant derivative zero. Since second derivative is less than zero, we have a maximum. Do you see that? That is one way of showing. The second way is, you can analyze by substituting value of x, less than 450 and more than 450 correct so that is to say take a test point we have this point at 450 so you take a test point of x which is less than 450 let us say 400 and one which is more than 450 let us say 500 correct so if you put these prices here if i put something less than 450 then i will get a positive value so on this side the graph will be increasing on this side if i put x as 500 right so it'll be negative it'll be reducing so that shows that at 450 we do have a maximum so this is also very important to show that the revenue indeed is minimum right so i hope this helps you to understand the whole concept so in solving such question whenever you have kind of a linear relation you can use y equals to mx plus b find the slope that is the rate at which the sales is being affected and then find an equation to demand function is a price function so the, that is price is your dependent value here independent value is the number of items now revenue is derivative revenue is price times the number of items sold marginal revenue or you can say to find the maximizing or minimizing revenue, we need to find the derivative, equate derivative to zero. Important is show that this derivative indeed is a maximum and then find your answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.